everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game! Uh, hold on. There we go. There we go. I am currently in the UK, so please forgive me if the setup, something goes wrong. Like, we don't have camera, or my audio sounds a bit off. I do, I do apologize. A, a million apologies. <laughs> but, we, I, I'm doing this right now. I have been sick, which just sucks. As soon as I got back to the UK, I... I Got the flu or God knows what. Anyway, that all aside, we have this three minutes until this is done. And we are going to win it by Jove. And I'm also, I'm going to do one more just in case. I think after or when the last hour sort of comes around, uh, you don't really, um, like you don't change, like the you don't move down anymore, which is good because that would suck if in the last... 10 seconds, you go, oh, bye, and you lose. Uh, so, of course, we're doing the winning strategy here, which is to basically put in two super easy things to kill, uh, which baits the first one out to go for an all-out attack, and you have your best creature in second, which means that they will go for the... or they've got three, and if they're really good, all they need to go for is one attack, and then you can put two into reserve, and that frees you up to, you know, you know, choose what you want to go for next. Uh, I'm, I'm just realizing, I'm like, wait, do we have enough space on, on the hard drive? <laughs> like, these things I haven't even thought about. Oh, it's funny. Anyway, oh, it goes for two! Well, that will be the most amount of damage you will ever do now. So there we go. We'll go one attack. Yeah, we've basically done it. And I know, I had loads of people comment uh, in the last video, like, you need to get this. This thing is so freaking good. And it is! It, it, like, one of the best amphibians. This is the ingredient for it, and I think it's the one missing thing I need. So, we're just gonna quickly do this. Do one fight. You know, instead of just coming into the game, getting the pack and whatever, you get to see, you know, how we do it. What the prize wheel is. But the prize wheel wants to dominate the Why not? And there we go. A Lankosaurus, I think it is? An aquatic hybrid land thing. Uh, unfortunately, it can't be used in both, which sucks. It'd be really cool if it had, a, like, a swimming animation. Just, like, its arms tucked by its sides, and it just did that. There was... <sighs> There's so many things they can do. But there has actually been... Um, I don't know if it's a data mine or a leak or whatever, but we have some new dinosaurs coming, and it's the freaking Buck and Doe T-Rex from the Lost World, which I'm so excited for. How many years has it been since I said celebrity dinosaurs? Like, oh, you could get the book of the doe from Lost World. I know, I'm not going to go fishing through the, the annals of my Jurassic World the game playthroughs to find me specifically say that, but I have said for years. There we go. 97. I think it was about 1,300 cups you needed uh, in order to, to get into Dominant League, but we should hopefully get that. And of course, I've been trying to do... Um, this, the Clash of the Titans. I've got 10 out of 25. It's been a lot harder than I thought, I'll admit, just because a lot of the battles are, like, crazy hard. That one's super hard. Um, this one, Easter Event as well. Another super hard one, which just makes no sense. Uh, it's a whiteout, which yeah, we're gonna lose. I guess we could have done this one. Damn, that would have been a good one to do, actually. Nuts. Well, hey-ho. <laughs> we, we live and learn. So, in about 30 seconds, I think it is. Here we go. We're going to get the countdown. Get the countdown. So, we also have 700,000 DNA. Now, it's I don't think it's going to get us the new crazy hybrid. But, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll definitely get the Bagreptodon. Or Bagrepton. Bagrepton? Bagrepton? I don't know. You don't come to me for... Uh, Dinosaur pronunciations, let's be honest. You come to me for weird, funny, wacky nicknames. And there we go! Dominator reward! Woo! Five hundred... What's this one? No, that's not the right one. I don't know. I, it's been so long since I've been here. I don't even know what these <laughs> these sound effects are. Anyway, here we go. The bag wrapped it on. I got that one. Done and done. Finally, I've waited so long for that one. 2,600. And it is unlocked. And actually... What I did notice is there was an event or a certain um, showcase that allowed you to unlock Carnotaurus. That's a dinosaur that I've definitely heard, um, you know, with the, the way the game is now, that you can't just get it through the Battle Infinite. You have to unlock it or get it in the Amber. So hopefully now you guys have that. I think anyway. So we'll do an instant hatch with this guy because it's a tournament creature. It's going to take like a week, I think. 
Uh, oh, why is it? What, wait, what? Excuse me, why was he put in the repository when he could just be put there? Because what I've done is I cleared out this whole area. Why was he put in there? I mean, I've got all those. I sort of <laughs> made it quite nice there. Uh, but yeah, o okay, here we are. Wait, hold on a minute. I already have this thing. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what's this hybrid? Wait. Guys? Maybe I didn't have it unlocked. That was it. Okay, I, I was thinking, no, 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 no. Hold on, here we go. No, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, okay, I mustn't have had it unlocked. I must have got them some other way. But now we actually have it unlocked and we can purchase it. I would imagine so we'll feed you. Uh, what do we have? Bagrapathon originated in the prim what, Permian geological period of Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil. Okay, well, we can evolve, but now we can go to market and actually buy them. So, we could buy a hundred if we wanted to, but we don't need to buy a hundred. Now, the only thing is that uh, we're going to run out of instant hatches. Now, I did use it because... Ooh, three to five. Okay, I did use it because we're still going with the Stegororus or whatever it's called. I think it's called that. Maybe it's not. But the, uh, the you know, the, the point collector thing you're doing at the moment, that season... Uh, and I did get one of those, and I had a mission to get it to level 20. I swear I can English, I promise. <laughs> um, and I needed a mission to get level 20, so... I clicked that, you scumbag. <laughs> I clicked it, like, no. Didn't do it. Okay, cool, so we're not going to get hundreds of DNA. We're only going to get 100 DNA or, or something like that. That sucks, that was super easy. Fuck it. All right, well, there you are. Uh, so I instantly hatched that to get 800 of the, uh, the, the points that we needed. Oh yeah, of course I do that one super easy. And 110 could have been so much more. Lovely view of the concavenator then. Okay, fine, one more. We're well, 275. Now in my, uh, research or just playing this game loads, the, the most amount of DNA I've gotten from doing one of these code 19s hasn't been from... Uh, 300. You know, the max it tells you to start with. It was from a 200 nod. Um, now, normally, uh, yeah, this isn't going to be one of those really high ones, because I think the most you can get straight off the bat is either 15 or 20. I think it's very rare to find a 20, because then it turns into 40 and turns into loads more. Saying that, this is a hard one. Putting that right at the bottom, okay. So 100 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're probably going to get one more on the bottom. A 50. Okay, so it was 270, I think. Oh, you... Oh, oh. You know what it was? You know what it was? I thought that I only need to click it once. And I was like, yeah, we'll be done. And I don't even know what we got there, but that was... I'm so sorry you guys had to see that. <laughs> yeah, this thing. So, the tiny tank. Uh, we do have... We've almost got another one, and we're pretty close. So we've still got 11 days. As you can see, I, I've done a lot of the missions. That's all I've got left is ba win a battle with one Stegorus, but it's only 200. A few is 250, but we don't need to care about that. Uh, sorry, I see, I see the claim and the green. I need to click it. Right, so we'll go to Isla Sauna. We'll go over to, I think you're up here. Yeah, you are. Okay, we'll feed you guys. Ah, I only have 21 million. Ooh, we'll see what uh, trades we've got. We do have instant fuses, so of course we're going to use those. I uh, probably don't need to use it for the level 10. Saying that, though, you never can tell. You never can tell. Sometimes they, they do take a long time. We already have the level 40 Edaphosaur or whatever it is, but that that thing is terrible, so I'm really glad that we're going to get this guy. Uh, the hybrid... Oh, look at that! That looks awesome! On the head with the the stripies? Ooh, aren't you? Ooh, it's a pretty girly. Like other Archegosaurid... Uh, the Bregthraptodon is a fully aquatic animal, is it? It looks kind of like an amphibian. I don't know. Or at least in the game, you've made it look like an amphibian. Uh, so, yeah, we could pretty much get another Stegorotus uh, if we wanted to. I love the, the color, the changes on the tail. Well, I just hide it for a second. Yeah, that looks awesome. Ooh, you know what it is? I'm going to get this thing to level 40 and I'm not going to want to fuse it. <laughs> but we need to get... Um, three more. So unfortunately, that does mean thousands of bucks, thousands upon thousands 
I think, yeah, we need two more now. So another one of that. The DNA I'm not fussed about, but we it's the box. It's the freaking box. So one more. Hope they haven't... Uh... Does that say minus one day to watch an advert? That's actually pretty decent. <laughs> maybe I should have watched an advert and I would do a mission for doing that. Damn it. Uh, okay, well, when it comes to the hybrid, maybe we'll do that. We'll do the instant fuses here. I think we've only got two or th probably four, actually, because we're getting that one even higher. So that's uh, two. And then we need to fuse these guys. Uh, we're only on 18 million now. So, yeah, that is dropping. And that's the third fuse. Taking us to another... Oh, I don't know if we're going to get level 40, actually. I mean, depends, maybe? All right, guys. Are you ready to see the level 40? Bra -bra 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 right, here we go. Instant fuse. Boom. Oh, oh, it looks even better. Oh, heck yeah. That's awesome. Look at that guy. He's got, like, frills, and he's got all his cool little patterns. And there we go. So we lost about 12 million food. That's quite a lot. Um, I don't think... It, I mean, tournament creatures are never very good. Let's have a look at the stats. 2,825 health and 883 attack. It's better than legendary. It just falls... I think it falls in line. We'll have a quick look and we will... Ooh, get the evolution. Thank you. Um, that's... Oh, I'm not... No! Let's have a quick look at the battles. So we've got this guy coming up as well. We'll do the battle stage of... Now, whereabouts do you fall? I mean, obviously nowhere near all these guys. You can see I've definitely done the tournament. Because uh, everything's used. Uh, not, not a level 30. Okay, not even not even level 10 super hybrid. There it is. Okay, so yeah, it falls kind of in line. It's more attack than it is health, which is good in this game. Which I'm very happy to report. Um, but it has a hybrid. We are not done yet. No. Here we go. Fuse. Four hours. I think... We'll get level 20 of this. So we're going to activate it. I'm going to spend the 80 bucks. So this, I think, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am, is the most, the most strongest, the most powerful amphibian in the game. I think it is. I could be wrong, but I, I don't think that, I don't think Gorgosuchus, Gorgosuchus is like a health tank. This thing, if it's anything like its counterpart, yeah, look at the attack. Already fusing it. It's one of the creatures that actually fusing it is way better. Okay, so as soon as we put that out, is that going to disappear? Yes, it is. And there it is. The Bagiosaurus. Oh, lovely. Kind of looks a bit low poly. Hopefully, we'll get some more texture with it when we... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, getting a level 20. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do, but look at that thing. Damn, that looks awesome. Let's see. Uh, the Bagiosaurus has sharper teeth than its ancestors, giving it a bite you don't want to mess with. I mean, yeah. We zoom in on those teeth. Oh, those are low poly teeth. Damn. Okay, so how much is it? It's 82,000. It is... Oh, wait, no. Maybe Orthorepsis is. Is Orthorepsis the best? No, definitely not. 4,300 attack. It's like Metrophodon. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that thing has 12,000 health. I don't really care about that. 82,000. Another 1,000 and odd. And we do have the three. Oh, God. I hate, I hate that this just keeps on popping up and you can't get rid of it until you do that. So, no, no, we're going to make it seem stressful. So we... Yeah, we'll go for the instant fuse. Why not? Get the level 20. The thing is, I would get this high, but I don't have the food. If we go into the food harbor or, sorry, the trade harbor, and we're able to get a lot of food, then yes, we'll get this to level 40. But maybe we'll have to save this for another day. Because otherwise... Ooh, that was tough. That was like 300,000 at the last one there. Okay. More... I'm still on the fence. I, I prefer the previous one. The other one looked way better. But at 3,106 health and... 12... 2016 attack still pretty good i love how they just have that go out there like the little dirt watch the dirt it comes out and then it goes back down ready and ready go on you know you want to do and down it goes <laughs> right okay so we've got that more food which is um, really nothing uh like the bagreptodon the vachiosaurus enjoys an aquatic habitat though it can also live comfortably on land. what do you mean like it? it i thought you said it was a fully aquatic creature Bloody. Tap joy. Whatever. Whatever. I don't even. 
Get your the hybrids correct. You're the one. You can't blame paleontologists for getting it wrong now. You're making this up. Okay. So, we have it. Now, where does it lie at a level 20? So, still not as good as Indoraptor, but not much is. Uh, we're talking about level 40. Ooh. Very close to level 40 VIP creatures. But already has beaten level 40 Coolosaurus. I mean, that's not too hard. That thing was really... Ooh, sorry. I think it was really good when it first came out, but not so much now. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, we got anything else? You got the trailer for the new Camp Cretaceous, which... Yeah, we'll see how that one goes. You've got Easter events. Let's have a look. What else do we have? Yes, the trade hop. I was going to see if we can get some good food. And clickly, clickly grab these. Oh, yes, we've also got this thing. Hold on. Now, we can get one of the Rinchenias, but why get one when we can max it up? We do need Rajastegas, though. Uh, I don't know what that was. Wait, where'd it go? Where, where'd it go? Oh, okay. It disappeared. Um... Wait, where was it? it? was in the trade hub, wasn't it? Okay, we've got that. No, we got this claim from the DNA building. Let's have a look. It, it didn't like me doing that. So, Raj, there it is. Okay, so I think we needed a level 30 for it, actually. So, this is pretty decent. And we've just got enough food, I think. We'll evolve these. Yeah, we'll do the quick speed. This is raid. We don't really care about this guy. Um, so, I mean, you could get one, but why? Why, why bother with one when we can get it unlocked? So we've gotten... Oh, we've unlocked like three creatures in this episode. Three creatures? And uh, this one might take a little bit more. No, we get lucky. There we go. Beautiful. And then we need the Velociraptor Gen 2. So we'll quickly collect those as well. I've never collected that. Did you know that during the late Cretaceous period, India was a part of a giant carn a car carnet or continent called Gondwana? Oh, very interesting. So I always click... I see the green. I want to click it. Right. So we need to go back to Nublar. We need to go to the trade hub. I think that's two done. And then this guy. Oh, we need one more and that's it. We've already got it. Hell yeah. Okay. Now I don't think I have Overraptor. So we'll quickly feed you. Go in the market. Fuse you. Sword. I don't even know where I got these guys. I had so many of them though. And I, I still do have so many of them in the in Ready to Hatch. I think I got three more. Because I think we needed to get this guy to level 40, right? Does it have a hybrid? Maybe it does. We'll have a quick check when we click on it. It does have a hybrid. Indominus Rex Gen 2. Okay. So we'll get this guy to level 30. We'll quick, quickly claim those things. Velociraptor Gen 2 runs with longer strides than the first Velociraptor. Why? I don't know. This has to make it sound cooler. So that's that done. We can go into the trade harbor now. And there it is. So... We could get a single one. Or we could... Oh, wait. Is this just unlocking it, though? Wait, hold on. Oh, that was just to get one. I've, I've done it the wrong way around, guys. <laughs> just looking for an unlock it. So you, to unlock it, Postosuchus, Alangosaurus. Wait, Alangosaurus I do use out of all of these. That's the one I'm going to miss the most. Do you want to trade them? Yes. There we go. Unlocked Richenia. So, ew, ooh, ooh, is it very good, though? I mean, in the lineup? Let's have a look. Ooh, pretty decent, pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. But the thing is, we probably won't use it. We'll hatch it just because, you know, I want to throw bucks away. This is, we're getting so much in this episode. And there it is, yes. Plop it into there. I think that's where Postosuchus was or, or something I've lost. I'll oh, quickly get that. Richenia lived in Cretaceous Epoch around 70 million years ago in what is now Mongolia. So it wasn't. A, it was around for about 10, maybe 50 million years before it died. That's a shame. Okay, let's have a look. I don't think I've seen its eating animation with the... Oh, whoa, it goes for a goat? Oh, wait, did... Why is it dribbling on it? Why did the goat die so quick? Oh, I guess it died. <laughs> All right. Well, we're getting to level 10. 838 health and 240 to attack. Watch it kill the goat, which just falls over and lets it eat it. Super easy. I like how we're using splats of what seems to be water instead of, you know, blood. Because Jurassic World Alive, oh, they love going for the blood. Uh, so how much are you? You are 7,000. But again, that's just another creature we've unlocked. 
which is so freaking good. I've been playing it, guys. I've been playing it. So we do have Bumpy. Uh, we can't unlock Bumpy because I don't have Dilophosaur Gen 2. Because I, I missed it twice. I missed it when it came back and I missed it when it first came out. So that's... A yeah, I got busy. I know, it's not my fault. So we got a tar pit. I don't really care about that. That's fine. Uh, a lot of food for coin, which I do not have. Although it's saying that I could do it, even though I definitely couldn't. Whoa, 27 million coin for a lot of DNA. I'll take that. Stegosaur for some food. We need the coin trade. We need the opposite of this trade. That's what we need. Uh, oh, a tar pit for 196. Can we buy a tar pit? Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I can buy a tar pit, how much is a tar pit? Because I'm getting 196 bucks for this. Please be one I could just buy and don't be like a VIP thing. Tar pit, tar pit, tar pit. Come on, tar pit. So, for 600,000 coin, I can now go into the trade harbor. And wait, where'd it go? It didn't just refresh, did it? Wait, what? Did it just vanish? Or was it just about to expire? It might have just expired. That sucks. Unless I got it in the trade hopper. Uh, 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 I can't do that. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. Okay, we'll go decorations. I mean, I don't really care about food. I'm only going to get a couple hundred thousand. And even that's not much uh, for what we need. DNA is... DNA is what we need. I would trade for bucks. But of course, you know, unless you... Uh, maybe they... Do they still do that? Can you still buy? Oh, 99. Yeah, pound for that. Yeah, <laughs> a jog on. They still do. Yeah, they do the fidelity. That's so weird. How they split that. I mean, it's not. Let's be honest. It's Ludia. Of course, they're going to split. They make money any way they can. Uh, that's good. We'll definitely collect all our coin. Because we want to make sure that next time we refresh, there's a chance that we could get that trade again. At the moment, we can't. But oh, 85 million. Okay, nothing. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll trade that. We'll get some food. Uh, this is more for the Gallimimus. I don't really care. We'll get 300,000 for that. That's that's a steal. So we've got two more refreshes. So again, 5 million for 400 VIP points. Very good. Uh, that's what we wanted. Hell yeah. Th 38 million for 22 million. Oh, hell yeah. You just need like a couple of those trades. Very good. Very good. Cherry Blossom. Not really fussed about that. We'll take even more. There it is. The regular trade I would go for. Got that. And one more refresh. What are we going to get? Yep. More food. So we got so much from just doing the trade hover. That's not really worth it. And that one is. So we might be able to get this thing to level 30. It's going to cost us, you know, 3,200 bucks. Ah, oh, we don't have any instant fuses. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. But let's have a look. What do we have? Now, normally I have a Langosaurus to help us out here. But we're still trying to get the Clash of the Titans. Because this thing, I don't have. And I need to unlock that. So, we'll have a look at this. This is a fun one to do. Uh, by fun, I mean you just click on this guy and then you win. I would say if you're... Probably the best thing to... Oh! Oh, wait, no, it survived. Okay, if you can... Get three level 30 Alangosauruses. That's all you need. Oh, this thing also doesn't die in two hits. Oh, wait, no, it dies in two hits. It doesn't die in one hit, but there we go. And of course, we've got so much health. So, again, yes, I didn't kill it in one hit, but we've got so much health. It doesn't matter. Just go for all-out attack. Eventually, they'll slip up. They won't block something. And there you go. That's the, that's the deadliest it could get. And I've already got the level 40 Columbo. So, boom. That's one. And we get, I think, 50 DNA for it. You know, not to be sniffed at. Next one. Uh, probably that one and that one. Yeah, okay. So normally, I don't have a problem. I have like about two rounds and I've won each battle. But because I lost the level 30, uh, Alankosaurus, because I needed to unlock the Richenia, whatever it's called. Um, it's not easy now. Oh, hold on. There you go. Boom. That's that one killed. Sword. Another 50. So 100 DNA. And then we're going to get some food, which actually... We kind of need right now, so it's not so bad. Right, yes. Go for it. Pecky, yes. 400 attack. Not the standard chance, dear. Right. They never fixed the crest. I don't know whether they actually meant for it to be feathers and they forgot to alpha out the black part of it. 
or what? But I think they I think they did and they just never fixed it. I mean, ah, it's fine. The, pro the, pro the guy who made it probably got let go years ago and they don't know the code for it. So, I, uh... <laughs> so there we go. Another one added to the Clash of the Titans. Next, we've got any creature for this, which could be interesting. But again, very tough. And I'm getting hungry. <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh, yeah. Ostrophagosaurus. Don't know if we unlock it. Ooh, any carnival. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's good. Hopefully it does any um, amphibian next. And has the same. We will use. We'll go into the PvP sort of thing. Because I want to see that Barakadon. Whatever it is. In the helipad. The helipad is the best arena. It's beautiful. Alright. Um... One kills it. Might as well just go for three reserves. Why not? Boom. Killed it, yes. Right, and Kylosaur Gen 2. Should be pretty easy. Yep, that's really good, actually. Goes for an all out attack. Brilliant. We kill it in one, go for two reserves. And why not two block just in case? I don't think. The Stinging Moloch is only level 40. I say only level 40. 700 attack! And that's half. That's half the attack. Yeah, we'll just go all out here. Six. Oh, if it was the seven to eight attack, we can skip that one. And boom. Done. Okay, so that gives us another 50. Next is more carnivores. Oh. Oh, if it just stays like this. Heck yeah. I mean, the apatosaurs are a bit tricky. Ooh, I think I could do that. The pa I mean, the Parasaurs, yes, they're going to survive. It goes first. Are you kidding me? Well, that hardly seems fair. This isn't PvP. Why are, you Why are you allowing the bot to go first? This makes no sense. Okay, so one, two, you're dead, I suppose. Kills you. Bam, 12,000 damage. Olympia is the one I'm a bit more worried about. I can't kill it in one hit, though. Perfect. Oh, couldn't get better. Okay, so... I mean, Max has got one block. It is... It is go... I'm scared. I'm scared. I meant to say does go. I said does go. <laughs> it's worrying getting older. I'll admit. Very worrying. <laughs> You're watching me age. Welcome to the podcast where Bieber gets days and days older. Every day. His brain ages. He's got so much stimulus flying at me. Okay, and lots of sticky Morlocks. Okay. Uh, they can all die with something that's got... What? Like 3,000 attack? Yeah, Scorpius Rex is the MVP here then. Oh, I get to go first. Thank you. Thank you. Now, because these aren't pretending to be people, which the tournament does, which is so freaking annoying, they, they go for their attacks right away. And it, it just speeds up the process so much. So, yeah, I may as well just go for that. Scorpius Rex can go for the tail. whoop -ap! Strange that Scorpius Rex sounds like a T-Rex. I mean, there is Rex in there, but Scorpius does have its own noises. Just, Ludia, go on YouTube. Type in Scorpius Rex Wars. It'll be on there. Universal doesn't have to know. <laughs> and the final one. Well, we got one more battle after this, and then that's two done. Ow! Flying through. Oh, yeah, you might attack me. You might attack me. Well, that was silly, wasn't it? Right, let's go for five attacks. Scorpion Rex goes for Whap, whap! I love that. It's such sass. <laughs> Which is not what Scorpion Rex has, especially in Camp Cretaceous. The final battle, another three. Super easy. Again, we're doing the same sort of attack strategy that we do when it comes to the tournament. Uh, unfortunately, well, even if they go first, it's not so bad because one hit kills them, then we just put the other one into reserve. Right, here we go. Go for one attack, and then one reserve. Yep, that does kill it. Just have to make sure that You can never tell. Takes out Sticky. In comes the other Sticky. Which... Hopefully goes for one attack. Or two! Two's good. Two's good. So, we can go for... I can go for that. I mean, I don't think Ankylosaur's gonna kill me. I've got 10,000 health. Ankylosaur, yeah, it has more attack, but still. 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 I love how Ludia or Jurassic World the game is like... It's definitely Ludia, I suppose. Hybrids aren't enough now. Now we need Gen 2s. You've got normal dinosaurs. Nobody cares. Gen 2s or hybrids. That's where it's at. 
There we go. You done lovely. And that gives us the Ostrophrichosaurus pack, which gives 100 bucks, some more food, the Ostrophrichosaurus, of course, as well as 1,300 VIP points. Yes. And unlocking Ostrophrichosaurus, which we don't really need. That's 12 out of 25. We are almost halfway. We're just below halfway. And the other battles that I've got are kind of tricky. So we'll do the PvP. I'll put in... Actually, what we'll do... Yeah, PvP is fine. We'll put in these guys. And then we'll put in... Hopefully we don't get any Cenozoics. That's my only worry. This guy. Or should we put him in second? Let's put him in second. Because at least then... You know, depending on how it goes. Okay, if there's Cenozoics, we just quit. Let's see. There'll be Cenozoics. Because I don't like that arena. Okay. The computer's gotten wise. Because what it used to do is it used to average out to your team, right? It doesn't do that anymore. What it seems to do is, is it looks at what your individual dinosaurs are and then just makes a similar one. And this is actually really good for me because it, it took my really good dinosaur, made one around about the same, but unfortunately, it's a carnival. So, yeah. There you go. Die. Bam! So now... Eh, the lovely Demetri Demetricanus, I think that, what that is, is really good. Oh, it's, yeah. Did we look Carnotaurus? Did, did I say it was Carnotaurus? I can't remember what it was. I feel like it was Carnotaurus when we Yeah, either way. Oh, no. 31 damage. Whatever will I do? Right. You see, you should have a, a give up option. Because then this would speed up the whole process. Because <laughs> if I was playing against this, I'd be like, yeah, nah. But we all know that they're bots, so there's no point in that. Right, I want to see the eight animation. So we give ourselves four. We could go for one attack, I suppose. Yeah, may as well kill him. We'll end on the eight animation. I mean, the, look how nice this arena is. And I don't know why we can't just have it for other battles. Why is everything in the freaking horrible, dark, grim visitor center? It's awful. This is so much nice. Three attack. Ooh, ooh. Pelican Pyman. 63 damage. Here we go. Here we go. Max amount of damage for this guy at level 20 is 40,000. You know, as long as there isn't, you know, doesn't have the advantage of taking on a carnival. Oh, it's the crocodile spin. He's got the snaps up. <gasps> snaps up. <gasps> bap, bap. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to look gorgeous when it's level 40. Level 20 is kind of a bit meh. Elite prizes. Is that the best prizes? You know what? I'll take the food. I'll take the food. And close. Beautiful. Okay, so we need to collect... Oh, God. We... Oh, yeah, of course. We get... The... Wow, playing the game really rewards you. It's brilliant. Uh, yeah, so we've got all of that. We'll, we'll keep on going with that. We'll definitely, you know, see how far we can get. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get level 40. I don't know. Level 30 is probably the most. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.